everyone, it's Lynette here, Nettie Reads Too Much. Uh, thought I'd come to you today with the first part of my September wrap up. Uh, firstly, I'd like to apologise to you, I've not been around for the month of September, not posted any videos. Um, I, I, I just um, couldn't find anything that I really wanted to post about. Um, I even missed doing my book box unboxing, but I will try and catch up with that. Um, even though I've already opened it, I'll try and catch up with that and, and let you see it all. Um, but today, for today, I'm going to talk to you about the first four books that I read in September. So there is going to be uh, two parts to this wrap-up this time. So the first book, if you see me looking down, I've got some notes down to the side of me here. Um, so the first book that I finished uh, in September was The Dragon's Dilemma by Jesse Donovan. Um, this is uh, the story of Holly and Fraser. It's book one of her Lockguard Highland Dragons series, which is a spin-off of her Stonefire Dragons series. I think I talked to her about one of her books earlier on, I think maybe in August. Um, and it's a story of Holly and Fraser. Holly has uh, volunteered to be a human sacrifice to a uh, dragon clan. Um, in exchange for dragon's blood so that she can get treatment for her father who is seriously ill. Um, by human sacrifice, I don't mean that they're going to eat her or, or murder her or some kind of sacrificial lamb type thing. Um, what actually happens is the these women, um, and I haven't come across any men yet, so I don't know whether that is something she plans to do, but the women are sent to the... Um, the lands of the dragons and um, and there they are paired up with male dragons um, to hopefully mate and have babies because the gene pool is growing very small and the dragons are struggling to find their own mates. Anyway Holly goes to Lockguard which is in the Scottish Highlands and um, there she meets up with the head of the clan there who takes her to his home um, and, and his wife they're going to look after her until she meets the man that she's going to be mated to. She is supposed to be mated to Fergus. Um, however, Fergus has a twin, Fraser, who's a bit of a troublemaker. And Fraser decides to sneak a peek at Fergus's mate. And as a result, um, they meet first. And in doing this, Fraser realises that Holly is his fated mate, the one that he is supposed to be with. However, there's all sorts of backstory, although he and Fergus are quite close, there's been female troubles between them in the past, so Fraser decides to keep quiet. And this story is the fallout from Fraser keeping quiet, which is actually quite dangerous for him, for his mate, for the rest of the people around him. Uh, so he is, um, yes, so it's the, the fallout from that and how they get to their happy ever after. Again, um, it's it's a good story, well thought out. Um, there's good will, well, there's been good world building from the start. Um, this is an expansion of her her dragon world um, that she created, started creating the Stonefire Dragons, and I look forward to reading the rest. Uh, there's another three in the series at the moment, so I look forward to moving on to those in due course. The second book I read this month was Soul Enslaved by Kerry Lake. This is a bit of a dystopian uh, type story um, set in America. This is the story of Gavin, Gavin and Sir Belle. Gavin is um, a wrath demon and uh, Sir Belle is a succubus. Um, this is the third book in her series, Roth Demon, Sons of Wrath series. And um, in a previous book, Sibel has saved her, um, the life of one of Gavin's brothers at Gavin's request. And as a result, she has enslaved Gavin's soul and she can call on him to do whatever she wishes at any time. At the start of this book, Gavin is in demon prison, um, being tortured. And um, Sibel also knows that there is an event that's going to happen which is going to put her life in danger. And the best way of um, ensuring she stays alive is to call on the enslavement of Gavin. 
Um, this is how they come to realise that they are each other's intended mates and uh, how they go on from there and get to the happy ever after. Um, again, it's another world that's being built. There's um, all sorts happening in the background. Um, this is the third book, so there's lot. There's been there's lots happening in the past. There's, um, so I can't really tell you too much about the wider arching plot um, because it would spoil it if you want to go and start from the beginning. Um, but again, another great series. A little bit on the heavier side, not heavy heavy, but um, all in all a good read. Really enjoyed it. It got me through the month. So, book three. I don't have a cover for you for book three at the moment. Uh, book three was an arc from NetGalley and it's called Breaking Hollywood by um, Samantha Towell. Uh, Samantha Towell is one of my auto buy authors. Um, so this is a book that I was allowed to buy this year uh, because I'm allowed to buy any book she releases um, along with a couple of other authors on my list. and. Um, this was no exception, only this time I decided um, she advertised on Facebook to in her Facebook group that um, her book was available on NetGalley um, for ARCs uh, for those of us who wanted to read it and review it on the day before it came out. Um, so I signed up to NetGalley um, and as I signed up to NetGalley, I requested this book, I requested some others as well at the same time and um, the publisher very kindly said that yes I could have a copy so I got to read this a month ago and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, she, the reason Samantha is an autobi author for me is because I just love everything she writes. Um, there's always a little bit of funny, there may be a little bit of heartbreak and you feel right along with the characters. So she, she, it's re always really well done and you know that you're going to get a good story at the end of the day. So this story, Breaking Hollywood, is about Ava and Gabe. Uh, the story starts out, Ava has just found out she's lost her job. The day before she found out she'd lost her home and uh, she's in a bit of a pickle. Um, she's in her car, she's upset. She decides to drive off because she needs to get herself sorted out and she runs over someone's foot. This someone turns out to be Gabe, who is a quite famous actor. And she puts him out of commission for a few weeks because she's broken his foot. He also needs some help, so she decides that she will actually help him out for um, the time that he's off his feet. And this is where the love story comes in. Um, it's slightly a confined... Um, story because pretty much the entire story takes place in Gabe's flat. Um, again it's a saucy story so there's a little bit of mm -hmm in there and um, which is always really well done. Sam does it really really well and uh, there's a little bit of push and pull. The angst you saw coming, I'll be perfectly honest with you, the reason why they, they're, they're plodding along really really well, they're doing really really well, they're gonna have a great relationship and then the curveball comes out of left field. I saw the curveball coming um, at the point that the action happens, which is going to set off the following actions, which is going to have an impact on them. I was screaming at the book, no, don't do it, you stupid. Um, so it, it was easy to see coming. Um, so yes, I, uh, um, but then it's resolved really quickly and um, there's not a lot of push and pull. Sometimes with, situations like the one that happened in this book there's too much push and pull to get to the point where the one who thinks they've been wronged finds out that the person they think has wronged them didn't do what they thought they did and actually was wrapped up really quickly really well um uh, had a lovely epilogue and i thoroughly enjoyed it and um i had it on uh, pre-order anyway so that book released today which is the 3rd of october so if you like your, your romance, your contemporary romance, go and check Sam Towell out. Um, she's written an excellent series beforehand, the Mighty Storm series. Um, and there's some other books that she's written which aren't so much in uh, the romance um, genre, but uh, they are really, really good. So check Sam Towell out. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend her. So the fourth book that I'm going to talk about, um, I felt was a little bit of a letdown for me. Um, I'll just get the cover up for you. I've just missed out on doing that. Sorry. Um, 
So it's called Blood Shadows by Lindsay J. Pryor. Again, a bit of a dystopian. Um, set in the world of uh, where vampires and werewolves, we know they exist, we know they're out there. There are There is the vampire control unit um, who make sure that vampires do um, actions within the law. And uh, this story follows Caitlin, who works in the vampire control unit, and Kane, who is a master vampire. Caitlin is tracking um, Kane because she needs him to tell her how to kill the creature that is tracking her and is due to kill her within days of the start of this book. Um, I won't go into it more than that. Um, there's, a hot, there's a bit of a wider subplot. Um, again, it's a fated mates type story. Um, Kane and Caitlin are, are drawn to each other. Um, I don't, I can't tell you. I can't. I can't put into words. I don't know whether it's just that I've read too many of this sort of thing or not. But I wasn't in love with this book, and it's highly unlikely I'm going to continue with the series, um, which personally I feel is a bit of a shame um I think I think it has the potential but I just think at the moment there's too much other series that I've got going on that I'm really invested in that to to actually see if I want to continue with it at the moment I just I don't know I can't I, I didn't enjoy it too much I enjoyed it but not to the point where I actually need to go and pick up the second book in the series right away um, which is usually a good indicator for me that it's a great series that I'm going to be loving. So that was the first four books that I read in September. Um, I will do a second uh, video with the second four books that I read. I read a total of eight. Um, and I will do that one and upload that one um, at another date for you. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.